Hello, my beautiful people. You are welcome back to my channel, Chill Living Signature. How are you guys doing? Thank you, friends, for your love and support. I love you all, and God bless you all. So now, today's class, I'll be showing you guys how to make this beautiful boo-boo cow gown. It's really simple and beautiful, the easiest way. So what we have on our table is brown pepper, pattern pepper. Actually, we're not making use of it, but this is just an illustration. When we are done, we'll be going over to the floor. Yes to create it because it's boo-boo. You can't do that on the table. So, and the yardage of fabric she will use while working on this five to six years. Yes. So, let's quickly get started. So, the measurement right here, this is the midpoint on the midpoint of your back to your wrist. Yes. Into fold. What is here? What you have on taking into fold. And also, be needing the distance between your shoulder to your waist and your shoulder to your hip, and your hip to your knee. The reason is this. If you look at that picture very well, you see that the damp part, on the damp part, is straight. Yes, the booboo, the, the cow uh, curve is not from the shoulder to the full length of the dress. So that's what we need in there, our vertical measurement. So let's quickly get started. These are midpoint. We are working with the paper for now. The actual measurement I'm working with is a 60. But paper here will be working with a 15. Into fold here now is 15. So when by the time you open it up, you'll be having 30 inches. So you will connect it. It's a shoulder slope. Or take connect it straight. Before your shoulder slope, or if you have your curve ruler, it's going to straight. So, when we're done with that, like what I said, this is just for an illustration. So, the waistline, we're well, assuming that the waistline now is 10 inches. The hip line is uh, 14 inches. The knee line is there. Uh, 18 inches. This is just for an illustration. So this is the waistline. This is the hip line. Why this is a, the knee line. So when you are done with that, your neckline. The neckline is optional. Two inches can make it V-neck. It's optional. And this is what we have here. So when you are done with this, you will quickly come over this way. This is our shoulder slope to the wrist, our sleeve. So for the sleeve area, measure your Brown sleeve, your wrist. What I have here is eight inches. Mine is eight inches, but if it's your main fabric, you should be working with at least twelve inches or fourteen inches. No, it's elastic. But here we just be placing three inches because it is just for an illustration. It's paper. So this is it. So you still leave half inch, like one inch like this. Overload the air, fold it once, and then add the elastic. So from this point, you will connect this way. Connect it this way. Make sure it blends properly. Connect it this way. And you see what I'm doing, guys. So... So I'm just can you see this is the waistline, this is the hip line. I've written it down for better understanding. This is the knee line. So from the knee line, you'll be coming down. This is our, when transferring to our fabric, sorry. When transferring to our fabric, you'll be coming down by four inches. But for the sake of just the paper is not that long, I will just step down by. Okay, can I try to do three inches? 
So these three inches, you connect it. But from these three inches that we step down on our knee line, we'll be placing our hip measurement there. We'll be working with our hip measurement so that you can work fully. So the hip measurement we are working with is the less than 10 inches. Yes, because this is paper. Or let me see 11 inches. Place 11 inches here. Yeah? So you connect it from this your knee line to your the four or five inches you step down with. Can you see? This is just it. So for the knee line, for the five inches, sorry, or four inches, you can come down with four inches or you can step down by five inches, you connect it straight to the full length of your dress. Can you see what we have here? So you cut out this and use it to cut your back hair panel first. So cut it out. Cut it out. So this is it. This is the neckline. So the neckline should not be that deep. In case you are using this to work on the back panel. So this is how it should look. Can you see? Can you see your first side? Can you see? So this place you use your hip eh, measurement. Yes, you use your hip measurement. So that is it. So I want to also quickly use this also to explain the front air panel. So, but before you let assume is a full paper that we we'll have here, you will first of all transfer this to your fabric, then you will come back and then work on the front air panel. So that front panel we have the if you see look at that picture very well, you can see that they, they pleated it the front panel. So we want to create that. So we want to quickly work on that right now. So this is, um, it started from the waistline. You look at that picture very well. So what you should do, you will quickly connect this. That five inches or four inches you step down with, you are working with four inches. Connect it to your waistline. Hi guys, so on our fabric now so what i have here is both the front and back panel what i did i folded it this way can you see and this way so we have both front and back this way let me explain again this is my measurement i'm working with i'll flip it over this way so it's both front and back that we have on the floor right now so the shoulder measurement that's for your midpoint, which what we are going to have here to our wrist is 30 inches. That is where by the time we open it up this way, to be having a 60 inches. Yeah, where it's a bubble, 60 inches. So that's what I placed here. So now I want to quickly find our shoulder to our uh, waistline. Like as I said, while I was explaining on the paper, is needed because of the damp part. So let's quickly do that. My shoulder to my waistline is there, 17 inches. Can you guys see it? Can you see it? So from the shoulder to my knee is there, hip first, yes. So my hip is 26 inches. So my knee is there, 46 inches. And the full length of my dress is uh, 60 inches plus 2 inches hemming a allowance. So this is what we have here. So quickly connect it straight this way. Straight this way. Can you see? Can you see, guys? Connect it. 
this way and also the down there but so now remember i said from the midpoint to the wrist that is it to your sleeve to the wrist here is 13 inches when i'm working with here so that is what we have here so we'll be connecting it Wow, can you see how beautiful our cow gun is? Can you see? Our well, boo boo, can you see what we have here? But well, right now, we have to quickly remove the back panel. Yes, we have to quickly remove the back panel. Open it up. See what we have here. I'll be using this down part as the back panel. But I'll be working with this front panel with the chalk that I already marked. So I remove it. And you see. And you see. That is dripping already. So I'll put it aside. So this is the front uh, panel. Let me quickly fold it back and show you guys. So I'm done folding it. The front panel. So remember, we we'll work with uh, one and a half of our hip measurement. So what you have here is 19 inches. Remember, this is our waistline. This is our hip uh, line. So we'll come to our waistline to place it 19 inches, or rather, connect from here to your hip uh, waistline. So you can see, I'm done connecting it from this point to the waistline for the waistline if you want it to if you want to make it v v shape like what you have in that picture you will step down by 1.5 inch connect it this is the v shape i'm talking about make it slanting this way can you guys see connect it and cut it out so cut it but if you want your straight, connect, just cut it from here. But I want to have exactly what we have there. Cut this way. And you see. Can you see, guys? So, I will quickly take my fabric. I'll be cutting this into another part so that I will join it. I will have to I will have enough here for my gather. This is what you should have. So let me quickly do that and show you guys. So can you see I've cut this into two parts because of this V shape you won't be joining it from here, it's on the both sides. By the time you pleat it, it will not show. For this part, I will stitch it this way. My length, I've started to reduce my length, but I don't have much fabric. Now that I've reduced my length, this is my cow this, uh, part, I will also reduce it, yes. So it won't affect my well, so I have to reduce it so my fabric is not longer enough. Can you see? So I will make it curvy to the nail. I didn't make use of the five inches I stepped down because I have to reduce the length of my dress. I don't have much fabric. So can you see? By the time you pleat it, this is what you should have. Yes, it's two parts. Can you see? So. I will quickly take my sewing machine to join it to this center panel, join it, and join the other side and come and show you guys. So, can you see? And take note for that picture. If you look at the under boss, it's fitted. Yes, it's fitted. So, for that under boss, we'll be sewing a belt. Yes, like eight inches or a belt that, yes, eight inches, that is 16 inches. We'll be attaching that belt. 
under the bust. Find out your under bust eh, measurement. Mine is 14 inches, which is this. So under my bust, under my bust, I will place my bust measurement, which is there, eh, 10.5. And also add whatever I will add it down, half of it, which is this, that almost the same thing here. And open up my gown. Let's assume this is belt. Find out, place it properly. We'll be stitching it from inside. So by the time we we'll put on our dress, we will tie this to meet each other at the back. This right inside our dress. It will affect our back eh, panel. But let me quickly join this and show you guys. So I'm done joining it. Can you see? So you can actually join yours at the center because of the V shape I'm working with. So I can't do that. So can you see now? So by the time you attach one side to the other piece, one piece to the other, here's the length. Let's see properly. Then you guys can reset it. Pleat it. Because we've had it, we will have enough gather here. Yes. Can you see? This is what you show. How? Can you see? So this is the full length of our dress. Can you see? Can you see, guys? So, at the back, yeah, you attach, just place your belt there and top stitch on it, both that side. So, let's quickly go to our sewing machine so I can show you guys how to join it on this part. So, guys, over to our machine. Can you see? This is our midpoint. Always notch. So, this is our front panel that we want to pleat or gather I also notch it so I will flip it this way to make sure everything matches stitch here and you see to secure it then I will quickly Come this way. Can you see? To stitch this part together. Let me flip it this way. So I've done second that part. So this is it. Our midpoint. Remember, we'll be pleating all these parts. So I want to quickly join this side first. Right side facing the right side to the down part. So I'll flip it this way to so join it now to run a straight line stitch. Yes. Stitch it. Make sure if it matches. Place it. I have to close it up first. See? Right side facing the right side. And you see the curvy area. So I'm done with that part. So, this part now. Yes, add an half inch white transparent your fabric. We need an half inch to join this. So I'm joining the second side. 
The reason for all this is just to secure it. To make sure everything on the right side, they're on the right tracks for easy sewing because we'll be creating a garden there of clothes sitting there. So this is it, that curvy area that we draped. So this is it. And you see. So you fold this with the right side facing the right side. Look at the middle, the midpoint that we have secured that together. So flip it this way. So pleat now. We are only pleating on the damp parts of our dress. Damp parts, we look at that picture very well. This is it. That stitch. So make sure you're watching here, yeah? check so that everything will sit accordingly. So now I don't have much fabric. If you have much fabric, you can do more than this. Yes. Can you see the parts I joined? Stitch. Make sure this part. Yes. Don't have much fabric. Yes. Round and show you guys. So guys, can you see? So if you don't want yours to be full at this, you can reduce it. But this upper side, because I use 60, can you see how wide it is? You can make yours smaller than this. So that part I told about the pattern of our belt is here. We are attaching our belt. Use the sewing machine to join the back panel. I'll show you guys, join the shoulder first. I'll show you guys. So can you guys see I've finished joining the shoulder. So for the neck depth, I will quickly dip in it. Remember, we'll use the back neckline to cut it out. And remember I said the neckline is the neckline is optional. Yes, you can make use of V neck. Create any neckline of your choice. So I've done stitching the shoulder. So the sleeve area. I'll be folding it this way. I'll put my sewing machine to fold it because I'll be adding my elastic there this way. I'll quickly show you guys too. So I'm done stitching it. Stitch. This is where I'll be adding my half inch elastic. And you see from my wrist. So now I want to quickly join it. So how do you join it? I will leave a space where I'll be adding my elastic. I don't have that at the moment. So I will stitch it this way to the full length of my dress. But make sure this part, that drip part, much easier, which is here. You know the front panel, we joined it to achieve our pleats. So this is it. Make sure it matches. Can you see? You will sew it around this way to this part that you sew it straight, straight to the full length of the dress. So let's quickly do that. So this way, I will leave you some space. This is my wrist area, as I said earlier. So I'll flip this way. I can as well notch it because you will be overlocking it. Notch it this way. 
and you see make sure it matches so you bring it to your sewing machine place it that's it that is going to drip stitch it round make it curvy pull it this way make sure it's not You see this point, so you flip it this way. This is the knee area. I reduce my letter work with the knee length. Yes, so I don't have much fabric, but I can step down. So now it's straight to the full length of our dress. So I want to quickly create our belt. That I'll be using to tighten it inside. Let me quickly adjust it. So now it's time to place our belt. Can you see our tape? Yes, our tape is at the shoulder. So the under bust are working with 14 inches. First, you have to Indicate the midpoint with this sharp edge that is indicated the midpoint. So our bust, our under bust measurement, 8.5 inches, which is this. So we're marking nine inches this way. Mark nine inches this way. Actually, you're supposed to do this from the wrong side. But I just wanted that to have a better view of it. So now it's 8.5 inches, but I marked 9 inches. So we, this is where we'll be attaching our belt, but at the back, the wrong side. So place it this way to indicate it. Can you see what I'm doing? Can you see what I'm doing here? So this is where it is. Look at it. So I will do that on the other side. But while making yours, you can do it direct from the back. Yes. It's just for the sake of the video. Can you see what I'm doing? Mark it. Can you see? I've marked it. Now know my bust under bust measurement from this place. So I will quickly turn it this way to the wrong side. Can you see? See what I have? I can as well do it direct. This is the wrong side. Can you see? So this is my belt. I will place it here, stitch it here, stitch it here. Can you see? I'll stitch it here. Then I will tie it this way. I will show you guys. So this is where we're stitching our belt. Can you see the mark, the chalk that I marked there? So you place your belt. Make sure you adjust the damp pass so you not stitch on it. Adjust it. Place your belt on it. You can you see? So, and stitch on it. Let me quickly do that and show you guys. Take it to your machine this way. This is how to attach your inner belt. Can you see what I'm doing, guys? So I stitch. See, I've removed the damp part. So I won't stitch on it, but stitch over along the edge. 
and you see you stitch it you attach your bed for inside the wrong side can you see trim off your thread can you see so i will do the same thing can you see your, our bed now on this other side which is here place it this way let me pick my belt adjust the down part so i will not stitch to your back panel so place your belt also this way and stitch Bring it out. Always adjust it. Your back side, the back panel shift it so I will not stitch on it. Feel free. Trim off your thread. I have a little bulge there. Gather those. Correct it. Can you see what we have? This bag, this belt will be sending the back side to make our underboss fitted. So I will show you guys the the sleeve, the wrist not fit my elastic. I want to play fit it and show you guys. Show you guys how to make use of your belt, your inner belt. So you put it on this way. It's really heavy. <laughs> yeah, it's really heavy. Can you see? Put it on. Can you see? At the moment, can you see how shapeless it is? <laughs> can you see? So I want us to quickly tighten our belt by sending your hands in this way. Hold your belt. See? Let me show you guys. I'm holding my belt. I know you cannot see. It. Look at my belt. So I'm holding it. I want to quickly tie it. Look at the stitches of our belt. Can you see the stitches? So I tighten it. Can you see? Can you see what I'm doing, guys? I'm tightening my belt. So I'm done. Can get my hand this way. Make sure everything sits properly. Can you see? Mice a bit down because it's my fabric I use is is heavy. So it's pulling it down. Can you see? It's pulling it down. Maybe that be somewhere here. So it's pulling my down. So can you see how pretty it is? Can you see? Can you see, guys? It's very simple and beautiful. Can you see? I love you all. <laughs>